you the man of the hour. Oh, come on. I mean, you could have caught Calypso yourself. Are you, you kidding me? Cool. When a thousand pounds of horse quest decides to go off without me, I get out of the way. I don't even know how you caught him. I really don't. Well, that's just the way it is. You know, working there as long as I have. Just learn a few tricks along the way. That's all. Okay. Um, I gotta go. You enjoy your brunch, okay? <laughs> the whole point of coming to brunch is so I could thank you. I know that. I, I do, but it's, it's just not necessary. You know, I mean, we're in the stables and just taking care of some of those wild horses is part of my job. I'm just glad I could help you out, all right? What is this? What? You're afraid to let an old friend return a favor? One little more than old friends now, aren't we? It's not that, though. Miss <laughs> Day! Tell me how you want your eggs. Sunny side up, if I remember correctly. You never came to bed. You've been reading Elizabeth's diary all this time? Yeah. There are parts I've read over and over again, and even now, I, I still, I still can't understand some of them. I mean, maybe you should put it aside for a while. I don't know if I can do that. I, I keep, I keep hoping to find an answer, but I know very well it's not going to be here. I know you're hurting. And I wish I could do something for you. Ah, uh, you've already done the impossible. You're giving me time to try and make peace with this. And I know, hey, I know how many questions you must have and how curious you must be to want to read this by yourself, for yourself. It's for you to say whether I should read it or not. I mean, yes, I want to, but I didn't know her, Jeffrey, and I mean, do I have the right to invade her privacy even now? Kelly, if anyone has the right, you do. But this, this is a vision of of misery, and I don't know that I want to subject you to this. Okay. Let me think about it, all right? Okay. I'm, um, gonna go over and see Mason. Maybe when I get back, he'll know what you want to do. Mason Capwell. Your sister, Eden. For the love of God, what am I supposed to do? What do you want from me? If you ever want to see her alive again, come to the Sagebrush Coffee Shop in Indio. Indio? Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Wait, don't hang up. Will she be there? Will Eden be there? Help, don't you think? I don't know, Caroline. There's so many bags with faces on them, so many milk cartons, so many posters, so many parents like brick. Mm. You just have to wonder if there is any way that someone's going to connect a face like that with a child. It just seems like such a lonely shot in the dark. Well, it has worked, hasn't it? I mean, there have been cases where children have been found this way. Yeah, sometimes. Well, then you're doing everything you can short of actual detective work. And, and who knows, this might be the very thing that, that turns it around and pays off. Yeah. I know the waiting's hard. I, I know something that, uh, that might take your mind off of it for a while. Mm -hmm. I... Ordered a, a gift for Julia's uh, baby. And I thought maybe you could uh, 
pick it up and take over the hospital. Oh, well, that's a terrific idea. Yeah, with all that's happening with Johnny, it's hard to remember that there, there really is some good news as well, isn't it? I, I hope you understand if I don't go along. I'll, I'll call Julia later and explain to her that I'll come back tomorrow. What's wrong? What's, what's <sighs> I feel embarrassed to say that I'm still a little tired from all the blood tests they've been taking. Oh, well, you know something. Caroline, you're going to stop being a human pincushion for C.C. Capwell. Now, come on, come on. Wait, what, since when did you have to be a living testimonial for that serum? Just so that he can, you know, I mean, if it tests out, that he can make a buck off of it. Please, or... let's just not get off on this again. I told you I'm not doing it for CC. I'm doing it for all those people that might be helped the same way that I was. Okay, okay, but you're not being helped, are you? I... Caroline, you're getting weaker. I'm fine. And there aren't any blood tests today anyway, so I'll just rest up my blood supply and I'll be raring to go tomorrow. You give Julia my love for me, okay? I'm not sure I want to leave you. Well, what are you going to do? Just stay here and watch me sleep? <laughs> <laughs> now, you get, go give our new family member a big kiss from Aunt Caroline. Here's the address of the place where I ordered the present. I'll call them and tell them you're coming. Okay. I'm going to be long. Now, don't you dare hurry back here and hover over me. I plan on taking a nice, long, lazy nap, and I don't want to be interrupted. Okay. like that. No, okay. I, I understand. I understand. You don't have time to care about trivial, yeah, trivial things. Oh, no, like beauty. How about, okay, how about, how about scholarships and running for office? <gasps> Shh, is that better? Oh, wait, will you like that better if you do that? Oh, I see. You pick a good time to be born a woman. Women can make dents in the world now. They really can if they put their mind to it. Be willing to make a few sacrifices. Oh. You have to be willing to go your own way. Oh. Even if you have to go alone. Oh. Samantha, what am I saying to you? You are never going to have to be alone unless you choose to be. And neither will I. You and I have the rest of our lives to spend together. Isn't that just the most miraculous thing? Yeah. Hi. Uh. Well, you look either shocked or disappointed. I'm not sure which. Well, I'm just distracted sometimes when I'm uh, really buried. Phone rings or somebody comes in, it's like coming up from the depths of the ocean. Speaking of phones ringing... Let's not. Mason, come on, tell me, have there been any more calls? No. None? I guess whoever it was decided that it wasn't uh, fun anymore. Well, you must... you're relieved, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you don't look it, really. What, what, what made them stop? I, what, what made them start, Kelly? How can you figure a mind like that? I think we should just uh, be glad it's over and count ourselves lucky. You know, I, I don't think you're following your own advice, Mason. You look as if you haven't slept in days. Yeah, well, we don't, don't all have that angelic countenance. Uh, uh, looks always rested and composed. Me? Rested? I was up half the night. Jeffrey was up all night. Oh, trouble in paradise? I don't know. Uh... Listen, I found something of his. Hopefully something that can clear th some things up between us. Kelly, I, it's very... I, I, um, I know you need somebody to talk to right now, but, but I'm not it today. It's, it's a really awful morning. Do you mind? No. No, uh, 
No, I, I really just came by to see about the phone calls and, and if you were okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine, and, and I appreciate your, your worrying about me. We'll talk about it as soon as I can get out from oh, under. Yeah. No, no, this. we'll do lunch or something. No, I mean it. I know. Okay? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Wainwright's mother live here. We're just a couple of bears that could use a home, you know what I mean? Come on in. I'll give you a home. Oh, they're wonderful. Where did you get them? <laughs> Where did they get Caroline picked them out? Yeah. Do you think your beautiful daughter's going to like that? She's going to love them, and yeah. I love you. Thank you. Oh, well, you're welcome. Mm. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. oh it's Caroline. Oh, well, she, she, she's, uh, she's, she's okay. She, um, well, she's a little tired, so she... Stay at home the rest, yeah. Is everything all right? I mean, is they doing any tests? She wanted to come, but they're uh, running some tests on her, and she got a little tired. What kind of tests? Uh, they're doing some additional tests because of that serum that cured her. I was against it, but she was adamant, and I guess it's taking its toll, so she had the rest. You tell her not to worry. I will bring Samantha to her when I take her home. She can see her. Yeah. I bet she can't wait. And that daughter of yours, whoa, I went, I went to the nursery window. Oh, she's so beautiful. You must be very proud. Huh? I am proud. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. Until I looked at this. <laughs> With the other birth announcements, Samantha Eden Wainwright. <laughs> you look fantastic. How do you feel? Fulfilled. I'm really yeah. And I'm tired. I'm exhausted. The labor took a little longer than I expected it to. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't really believe what you've been through, and to do it all by yourself. I wasn't all by myself, Lionel. Not all. Not all the time. Oh. Mason uh, came to help me. He helped me during the worst part. Oh. I, I wasn't aware that uh, he was in a position to do that. I guess when the time came, he just, um, he didn't want me to be alone. What, what, what about what you wanted? I mean, were you happy to see him here under the circumstances? I didn't ask him to come. But Lionel, I was very happy that he was here. I won't deny that. Well, I, forgive me, I, I just, I can't understand how you could be happy. Given the fact that his involvement has to be limited under the rest of circumstances, huh? uh, is this something that you're not telling me? Nothing has changed. Mason and I have no future together. I have accepted that a long time ago. Amen. Samantha and I are going to take care of each other. We're not going to waste any time pining over a man to make our lives complete. We're going to get along just fine by ourselves. Just fine. Now I know why you didn't show up at Jeffrey's last night. Well, if you're waiting around for a lengthy apology, don't. Oh, I am so sorry, my darling. Am I keeping you? Do you need to rush over to the hospital to find out whether Julia has gone into postpartum depression? What I'm in the middle of right now takes precedence over Julia, over her baby, over... Your almost... baby! Let's not be delicate, Mason. What I'm trying to say is that I can't be concerned with anything but getting things squared away so that I can leave here. If you want to argue, it's going to have to wait until I come back. From where? I have some family business to take care of. What business? Family business. I can't talk about Which it. Which family, Mason? You have so many of them. <laughs> Julia is not involved in any way. How could she be? She's still in the hospital, for God's sake. Well, a little thing like that wouldn't stop you, too. Have you lost all ability to reason? I have lost all ability to believe what you say. I wish I could tell you, but I can't. It'll have to wait. Oh, I know. It takes time to put together an elaborate story. You have to take the time to emphasize the poignancy of poor Julia going through the throes of labor all alone. She was alone. 
The same way you would have been if Cruz hadn't been there. Cruz was there by accident. You chose to go to Julia. You could not miss the birth of your child. Well, Daddy's little girl. I guess we should be relieved it was a girl instead of a boy. Then it would have been a very sticky financial situation. And we couldn't have that now, could we? How's Mason? All right. How are you? You can't imagine how long I have wanted to understand certain things that happened in my life. I thought that reading Elizabeth's diary would be a relief, some kind of comfort. But it wasn't. I'm not sure that we meant to see that deeply into another person's agony. Everything I feared and suspected now. Now there's no comfort in knowing I was right. I just, every time I turned a page, I just, I just wanted to stop right there. I just. Do you still want to read it? Is there any other way I can understand what happened? Well, I could try telling you, but it wouldn't be the same. You would. Always wonder if there's something I was holding back. No, you read it, Kelly. And make your own judgment. But I must warn you. That's a very, very dark place, that. such happiness. How lucky I am to have it. All I want to do with my days is to find new ways to please him, even though I have an awful tendency to go overboard. Last night, for instance, oh dear, I thought I'd impress my new husband with my extraordinary domestic skills. Hello, hello, what's all this then? Eh? Bread! Or, it will be bread at the end. Seems a bit sticky at the moment. Yeah, I would just, just a bit, uh, just a little bit, mind you. Do be nice, Jeffrey. I've been at it all afternoon. I've already thrown out one more batch. Hey, well, it sounds like you're working too hard here. Let me take over. Oh, what do you know about baking bread? About as much as you do. I don't think it can get any worse than this. Oh. What do you mean? Vile, brutish, beastly thing to say. Oh, yeah? You think that's beastly? Try that for beastly, eh? Uh, <laughs> All right. You're asking for it. <laughs> Jeffrey, stop it! Wait, we can't eat it. We might as well have fun with it. Are you right? deaf? I said I want you to stop. That's just a game. I don't like games. I'm going to have to spend all evening washing dough out of my hair. Do you blame me? No. No, it's just I, I have never seen you this angry before. My mother's Irish timber disappears as quickly as it comes. Pay no attention. Hey, look. I didn't mean any harm, honestly. <laughs> well, do you want me to forgive you? A kiss might do more. that way to you. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have gotten so carried away, eh? Jeffrey, tell me you still love me. Of course I love you. Show me, Jeffrey. Make me believe it. <sighs> I guess it's easy to let old interests dry up if doesn't happen to share them. not exactly, you know, depriving me of the finer things in life, Lincoln. Thanks 
the brunch. Where are you heading? Maybe you can give me a lift. Uh, Lincoln. Thought that was you. Hi. Oh, how are you? Good. What are you doing here? Well, I, I was at the hospital visiting Julia and her baby, and I just about dropped by for a bite to eat. You got a minute? Well, I was just going to get a ride with Ken. I can take you wherever you have to go. Super. Good, good, because I got to go. Good seeing you again. All right, thanks for brunch. My pleasure. So how's Julia? She's terrific. The baby's marvelous. Got to see that baby. She is your cousin. You know. I know. I'll try to get over there. Is that all you wanted? No. Here, let's sit. Uh... Listen, um... I don't... Oh, I say this. I, I don't know whether it's a good idea to take a married man to us. Oh, Teddy! Come on, come on. I, I, I... Wait a minute. I know that Ted is an old boyfriend. But there are still some conventions that... I don't know, maybe it's a better idea to, to honor them still. Like it or not. Do you really think that you're one to talk to me about rules of conduct? After the way you behaved when you were married to Mother? <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I may not have always been the best example, Lincoln, but you have to make all my mistakes. Look, I am not out to hurt anyone, Daddy. If I take Ted to lunch, it's not going to hurt their marriage one way or the other, is it? Maybe not. Listen, the next time, though, that you take somebody to lunch, why don't you just try to make sure that they're available? As a matter of fact, my next date is with someone who is eminently available. Hmm? He's young, he's attractive, and he's hardworking, and he's very, very unmarried. Oh, man. Okay. Can I drop you off someplace? Mm, no, I think I'm going to stick around here. I'm going to root for another cafe au lait. They make them so well here, you almost feel like you're in Paris. Bon appetit. Be back at the house. Bye. Hi. You here for lunch? Uh, no, I'm, uh, meeting someone. A female someone? I've got a job interview. Oh, you're not leaving Johnny's, are you? Not unless I find out bartending pays better here. I just need some extra cash for school. You know, I really admire you. Going to school and everything. In fact, I was just telling Ted that earlier. I think it's great. Are you on your way out? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Uh, look, this will just take a minute. I've... I'm afraid I don't even have that. Are you all right? Ah, I'm fine. Is, is everything all right with the company? Alex is a... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, I, I, as far as I know. Look, it's, it's just about the, the transcripts of my trial you've been working on. I just wanted to tell you that you can drop them now. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, I am. Uh, as you know, I was hoping that you'd find something, anything, any irregularity in procedure or uh, breach on my solicitor's part to prove my innocence to Kelly in case she had any doubts, but um, it looks like something else has come up that will provide another way for her to make up her mind. Oh, well, um, maybe that explains it. It explains what? Well, Kelly was by here a little earlier. I thought she seemed kind of anxious. Yeah, well, she has every right to be. It's not always easy to learn the unvarnished truth. Sometimes you end up wishing you never had to know. When I sit here writing, I see it all so clearly. It's as if I stand outside myself. Not even myself but some other person who does things I shall perhaps never understand. So many times when I try to please him, I cross an invisible line. I don't even feel it beginning. I see the look in his eyes and that's how I know. I've gone too far. I've shown myself to be different and somehow frightening. Today, I, I wasn't sure of the fit, but it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, hey. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Don't be silly, I love buying you things. In fact. <laughs> Whoa, well, Elizabeth, what are you doing? Do you like it? Yeah, of course I do, but... I knew the style was right, so I thought, why not? Ten different fabrics, 
ten different colors, my Jeffrey shall have his choice. What's wrong? Uh, nothing, no, nothing. It's, it's just, uh, it's a little extravagant, don't you think? Well, that's what rich girls do with their money, practice at being extravagant. Didn't you know that about me? Uh, Beth, don't misunderstand me. I understand I... perfectly. You marry me because my parents are immensely wealthy, and then you think it's charming to pretend you don't give a fig about what money will buy. Well, you, you know, you know that is not true. Now, look, I did not marry you for money, okay? Well, then let's just take it all back, shall we? You can wear the same old shirt for the rest of your life for all I Beth, care. don't do this, please. Don't do this. Uh, look, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I, I do. I love, I love the presents. They're wonderful, Beth. Do you really? Yes, of course I do. Of course I do. You aren't angry with me for spoiling you. No, no, I'm not angry with you. I can't bear it when you're angry with me, Jeffrey. I, I feel like dying. I just feel like dying. can even compare to her. What was she doing? Sleeping? Yelling. <laughs> One of the nurses hadn't picked her up. I was going to go in myself and ask what the problem was. I, um... I didn't I expect it. See you back here again. I wanted to make sure last night really happened. It really happened. And you were there. And I was glad. I was taking a chance. I didn't know if you would be. For myself, there wasn't really any... any choice. I... I think I just wanted to tell you to watch out for Samantha. And I know you will. She's the most precious thing in the world to me. Well, that's all the more reason to be careful. When you leave here, I want you to watch her every second. Will you promise me that? I have to go away for a few days. Where are you going? It shouldn't take too long. I, are you taking Victoria and the baby with you? No, well, either. If that was possible, I don't think she would want to go with me. She knows that I was here when the baby was born. She wasn't too happy about that. I suppose not. I can deal with it eventually, but going away right now doesn't help. Then don't go. Well, that's something else I, d I don't really have any choice about. I shouldn't have even taken the time to come here, but I wanted to make sure that you and the baby were all right. Does this have anything to do with the phone calls? Gives you that idea. No, it doesn't have anything to do with the calls. Are you afraid that I'll start making demands on you now? I'm not afraid of you, Julia. Or of anything we share. I just want you to know that if you don't hear from me for a while, not to worry. I know that I'm thinking about you. And the baby. to him now. He wants to get rid of his rich little wife no matter what it costs. Well, damn it, Jeffrey. What was I supposed to do? Leave you free to go to someone else? I found a book that showed how to disconnect the brake lines. It wasn't nearly so difficult as I thought when I tried it myself. 
But I, but I didn't, didn't think, think about, about the grease. Oh, oh God, God, the grease. I, I stood and struggled, but I, I couldn't, couldn't get, get it all over my hands. When you said that you were going to rest today, I thought that you meant lying in bed. No, I wasn't no. doing anything strenuous. I just got this sudden attack of dizziness. Caroline. Caroline. Don't. Don't pretend to me. That's not what I want. Man, I am not pretending. I'm just trying to explain to you. Yeah, yeah. If you're getting sick again, we have to face it. Come on. God. There's no reason to lie to each other. Conducting the interview. Yeah, uh, Mr. Burton. Uh, you know, I talked to him on the phone. I'm sure he agreed to noon. Well, he's pretty late, isn't he? It's way past noon already. Yeah, it is. And uh, I've got a class in less than an hour. I guess I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Well, that's dedication. You gonna miss a job interview for a class? I'm really impressed. Yeah, well, don't be. And the reason I can't uh, skip a class is because I'm not the kind of person who can skip a lecture and still ace the course. Got to put in the hours. Well, why don't you just get a tutor? I've had a tutor, Haley. I think you know that. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Well, she must be a big help. Yeah, she is. Hmm. I don't know how you guys plow through all this stuff. Science was definitely not my best subject. Languages and literature, that I was really good at. But zoology, chemistry, forget it. I have to tell you, I really admire you. What is this? What is what? I'm sure you're not sitting next to me so we can discuss my IQ. You got something on your mind, I wish you'd just say it. Spit it out. Okay. I do have something on my mind. I guess I'm just too shy to say it. Shy, huh? You? <laughs> I know it's kind of backward. I guess I'm just the kind of girl that would rather wait to be asked than do the asking. I don't know. I'm afraid of rejection. What can I say? Like, and I, uh, I don't think you're afraid of anything. Well, that sounds like a challenge if I've ever heard one. Okay. Here goes. There's a little Italian place that just opened up on State Street. And I was wondering if you would be interested in going there for a pizza and maybe a movie. I was thinking, like, Friday night? Friday, huh? Well, I know it's short notice. Are you free? You know, I didn't know Friday was a day. What day? The day hell freezes over. Uh huh. You're right. About what? We should just discuss these things straight out. We don't have to resort to fun and games. Discuss what things? Well, I know you'd never bring it up, but I know you want it just as much as I do. Mikey, what the hell are you talking about? Ted and Haley. We could just sit back and wait for them to break up. We both know it's going to happen. And we could work together and help speed up the process considerably. What do you say, Jake? You want to save us both a little time? I'm beginning to be afraid. I just read the date of my last entry. Over a week ago. Where do the days go? I remember less and less. Sometimes everything is so clear. And other times, the light comes and it blinds me. That's why I painted the windows. I had to. The light was so bright.
Desmond's not here. Elizabeth, look at me. Hey. Don't you even know me at all? Jeffrey left me. You shouldn't be here. Oh, thank God. Elizabeth, please. Let me help you. Let me take you someplace safe. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen. I love you, I just, I just want to make you well again, you hear me? What's happening? What's happening to me? Don't worry, I'll protect you, just don't, don't be afraid. Who wants to help? No one can. There's only one thing to do now. I must go at night when everyone's asleep. I'll take the car and I'll leave this place. I'll leave this place, place forever. forever. Jeffrey. Why didn't you tell anybody? She's sick. She was sick. Why didn't you say anything? Why? I can't believe you. Oh, Jake, please. You probably dream about this girl every night of your life. Don't tell me you've never thought about it. Yeah, I think about Haley, sure, but I'm not about to try and take her away from her husband. If Haley wants to stay with Ted, she's not going to leave him no matter what we do. Besides, they're not even right for each other. Oh, really? When did you decide that? I grew up with Ted. I know him better than his own family. I don't even know what he's doing with her in the first place. But I think it has something to do with him. Why am I not surprised to hear you say that? I wrote him a Dear John letter. I was involved with somebody else. I was almost actually going to be married. And it was right after that that he took up with Haley. And I think a bit part of it was that she was the total opposite of me. I'm sorry, but it's just so obvious. Yeah, well, Lakin, you're right about one thing. Haley's about a f as far away from you as a person could get. Look, you're madly in whatever with her. I know. And she knows. And Ted knows. And the crazy thing is, she's probably madly in whatever with you, too. But she won't admit it. All I'm suggesting is that we speed up the process a little. Look, let's just get one thing straight, okay? I'm not gonna speed up or force anything, all right? That's the last thing I want to do. If Haley and I are meant to be together, then she's gonna want it because she wants to be with me, not because I push her into it. All right. Fine. You just suit yourself. But you're just delaying the inevitable. Yeah, well, maybe I'm not so sure it's all that inevitable. Of course it is. Ted and I are a foregone conclusion. And once Haley's free, she'll wind up right in your lap. But don't bother to take me. I don't need your sealed approval. I don't want to leave like this, Victoria. I know it's asking a lot. Go away without any kind of explanation. Seems to be your specialty, Mason. Victoria, if I could tell you about it, I would. I don't like the idea of leaving you and the baby alone for even one night. I wish to God I didn't have to. I don't understand this family thing. Your family is here. Why do you have to go out of town? Just take care of yourself and the baby until I get back. Promise me that. What's the matter? Why are you acting so strange? Sorry. I have to go, Victoria. I'll call you as soon as I get there. I just didn't know what else to do. She had suffered so much up until then. I know if I told her parents, they would have just locked her up someplace. But after she died? I just felt so guilty, Kelly. You know, I kept, I kept thinking if, if only I had insisted. If 
If only I'd gotten her the help she needed, she, she would never have died. I thought the best thing I could do was to keep her secret. It's the least I could do for her. Let everyone remember her the way she wanted to be remembered. Jeffrey, I can't imagine what you went through. You know, every time you compared yourself to her, I... felt like I died a little bit inside. And I did. I wanted you to know. I wanted you to know what happened. But the last thing I said to her... The last thing that I had promised... I know. Was... You wrote about it. She said that you... told her you would always protect her. Yeah. Well, I was wrong, wasn't I? I mean, I, I wasn't protecting her by, by not giving her the help she needed. I, I kept trying, I kept thinking, if, I, if only... I kept remembering the good times. God, I couldn't send her away. Baby, I know. I know. Yeah, you know, I remember hearing the car start that night. I can hear it even now. I woke up, I went outside... She had gone already. Haven't I read that she'd fixed those brakes herself? I will never know. I'll never know if she just forgot about them or if she actually knew exactly what she was doing. Jeffrey, it wasn't your fault. You loved her. You did everything you could. And I love you for standing by her. And I hope you can forgive me for doubting you. Oh, baby. There's nothing to forgive. Just know, just know. No matter how much I loved Elizabeth, there's no one and nothing that I love more than I love you. God, I bless the day I met you. I'm Tom Brokaw. In today's complicated world, you need good reasons to make the best choice for the news you watch. At NBC Nightly News, we believe you should get the facts easily. We think you deserve to understand the day's events clearly. We have to earn your confidence by examining the issues fairly. That's why at NBC Nightly News, we cover the world with you in mind.